So now I'm going to show you how to actually create a board on Pinterest. To add a new board, you just go to this Add button up in the top right, click it, and select the far right option, Create a Board. And from here, you're going to enter in the name of your board, what you would like it to be titled as, the category, just the broad topics that it refers to, and then who can pin, whether you'd like it to be you or if you'd also like to allow other people to be able to contribute. Now, if you do choose this option, you will be required to enter in the email addresses of the contributors. So you can't just have it be open to anyone. You have to actually select who you're going to allow to uh, contribute to the board. So I want to show you an example of some boards that I've already made. So you can see this is the board category page I went to just by going to the top right and selecting boards. And you can see all the different ones that I've made on different topics on my profile. So let's go into some of the settings. To edit anything about the boards, all you have to do is select this large edit button. And you can see here the title that I had previously set. And this is where you can come in now and add a description. And the description is what's going to show below the title on your board. So it's a great way to kind of clue viewers into what this board is about, the reason for it. Just, you know, think of it as a subtitle to an article. Save your settings. And now you can see that's exactly where your description is going to be featured, right there. So I want to go in real quickly and show you how to actually edit a pin on your board. You simply hover over a pin, select Edit, and right here is now on your pins where you can choose to edit if you want it to link somewhere differently than where you originally pinned it from. So say this is a pin that you pinned off of your blog or just somewhere elsewhere. This, or even if you uploaded it um, off your own, from your own files and you didn't have a link to start with, you always want your images to link somewhere. It's very important because when people click on these pins, they're going to want to be taken somewhere, so don't miss that opportunity. And you can see here, I actually entered the link for this exact product um, on my website that is featured right here. So this is something you could really be very strategic with and think about, um, possibly even if you're pinning something off of your blog, but um, you want it to link exactly to where they can buy it on your product page, or if you're pinning something that maybe you still uh, directly source on your website, you could still maybe avoid that bypass as long as there is an original source somewhere where you're taking them to land. You wanna make sure to abide by those copyright principles. So very important tip right here, being able to change where this pin links to. And then if you ever want to edit and put, uh, recategorize this board on a different, this pin on a different board, this is where you would do that. And you can go ahead and save your pin. And I do want to show you on this, on your board category page, you can also at any time rearrange your boards. Say you've got 10 or more boards and you really want to be strategic about which boards appear at the top. You can come in and recategorize any boards, just like this, and then save the arrangement. So I hope you found this tutorial helpful and go ahead and start by setting up your first board.